Okay, uh, here's an idea. Let's uh, run it up the flagpole and see if anyone salutes it. <laughs> I mean, it's idiotic, but it's fun. What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Drink the coffee and make you feel better. Let's run this new idea up the flagpole. The media wants to brainwash you again and completely take you off of what's supposed to be going on. I keep hearing reports on Team USA being the greatest team ever assembled. I see this during games that they're broadcasting. First of all, this is not the best team the USA has ever constructed. That's a lie. Okay. Um, number two, there is no such a thing as a team being the greatest. Okay. From one to 15, when two players on your roster, Derek White and Drew Holiday, are on your roster. Okay. The word greatest, elite, uh, should never be recognized with the name Drew Holiday or Derek White in no fashion, no aspects of basketball. No disrespect to those guys. But you can't have a team being called the greatest with those two guys on the roster at all. They're not top 10 greatest. They're not top five greatest. They're not top anything greatest. All right. So that automatically diffuses your argument. The greatest dream team, because this is just a team USA. This is not a dream team. The greatest dream team is 92 Dream Team. That's the greatest team ever assembled for Olympic basketball. They were beating people by 40 points, 30 points. Now, I know what you may be saying. Well, times change. There's more international players that play in the NBA. Yeah, that's true, but that's still no excuse to why you can't top that, right? Until you start beating teams convincingly every single game, there will never be a team better than the 92 Dream Team, period. It's the team that started it. It's the Renaissance team. You may never find another Dream Team that could blow teams out in such dominant fashion the way that team did, okay? I don't give a fuck if... Foreign players are shooting laser beams out their eyes or they're able to jump out the building or the greatest player in the NBA is a foreign player. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, okay, because it's still a team basketball. And if you could assemble a team of NBA players that's supposed to be the best players in the world, they're supposed to dominate. You mean to tell me blowouts don't exist in 2024? Yes, they do. So, until you could do that and beat teams in a dominant fashion, you would never be called the greatest dream team of all time. But what you are, though, is good enough to win the gold medal. That's what you are. And that's what you're going to stay. So, when I criticize you, I just want you to win the gold medal. Okay? I don't give a fuck about your listings in Olympic history. Okay? Because this team assembled is not even better than a redeemed team. Okay? It's not better than the team after that. All right. So it's not the greatest team ever assembled, period. You blew it, boy. You really blew it. The dream team and the redeemed team are probably two of the greatest Olympic man's basketball team ever assembled. Hell, even the women's basketball team in the Olympics is more dominant than the men's team. Right. They won like nine gold medals. All right. So. We could back up off that, you know. Um, the fact that we didn't win Olympic gold for one of these generations um, proves that we're going down the, the pole in terms of uh, claiming that number one spot. So in order for NBA champions to say they're world champions, that they're the best in the world, you have to prove it and go out and beat these foreign players and prove that you are the best in the world. Because if you can't dominate these players, then you won't be the best in this world, right? But the least you could do is win gold medal and you could always keep that claim as world champions if you win an NBA title, right? But if you can't get that gold medal, we're no longer kings of the hill, right? We, we got bumped off that hill. And that's okay because um, one day maybe we get back there 
But until you beat us, until we actually win, and vice versa, we're still going to be called the best as long as we're getting that gold medal. That's our claim to being the best players in the world, is getting that gold medal. If that day ever stops, then we're in trouble, right? And that's what it comes down to. It's about representing the country of the United States, not this dumb bullshit that the media is telling you and trying to pit a dream team against this dream team. It's all hypotheticals bullshit, okay? Because the dream team was always assembled to win gold medal. That's their job, okay? It's not their job to say, who was better in the Olympics? You know, <laughs> Dwayne Wade or Kobe Bryant, who gives a fuck, right? It's completely irrelevant. Don't have no factor into your NBA career. It don't help your case for being a GOAT. It don't help anything, okay? All it does is prove that the Americans are the best basketball players in the world. And that's what we're still aiming for. That's what we're still pushing for as a society. Okay, to be the best we can and still have that claim and hold that title until somebody beat us. Sports out. Peace.